After spending the beginning of February in Austria, we went back home to our daily routines. But quickly it was Tina's birthday. As per Tina's ritual, we made brunch at home with our friend Anna and Nadia. And me? And they didn't come empty-handed and brought beautiful flowers to Tina. Cheers to Tina. We then drank coffee and mimosas before starting with the brunch that Tina had prepared. That day we had spinach pita, hummus toast, simit and kuglov, vegan mini men and pancakes. It was so delicious. Once our tummy full, it was time for another surprise for Tina. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Tina! Happy birthday to you! Oh, that's a cool gift. Yeah. Well, that's that's a a cadeau. Cadeau. <laughs> you. <laughs> it's unbearable. Wow. Friends are the family you choose. Mm. So true. So you have Would you like to go fetch my Pandora? <laughs> Be a doll. <laughs> <laughs> we then spend the rest of the afternoon chatting and chilling together. Happy birthday! <laughs> Our brunch was actually one day before Tina's birthday. That was on a Monday. So the next day I offered a little gift to Tina. And she received one more unexpected gift. <laughs> Anna and Nadia made Tina a surprise and came back for breakfast. This time they even brought balloons and cupcakes. It was the best surprise ever. After that, my mother also called Tina and later came for lunch with a huge bouquet. And so we celebrated one more time Tina's birthday. Mmm, joli! Oh, 
Santé. À Tina. That time, Tina had made Pokéball, and my mother brought a pie for dessert. We had such a good time. But that wasn't the end of Tina's birthday celebration. A few days later, we went with my parents and sister to a one-star Michelin restaurant in Strasbourg called 1741. The particularity of the place is that you don't know the menu beforehand, as it is done weekly or even daily based on the fresh ingredients they can find. You only choose the number of dishes you want, 5, 6 or 7. We opted for 5, and with all the in-between small bites, it was more than enough for us. Tina and I asked for the vegetarian dishes, and we loved all of them. Plus, the ambience in the restaurant was really great, and its location super nice. I couldn't even taste the finishing mini cake as I was too full after dessert. This restaurant, as well as a bracelet, were the gift from my parents. And Tina also received a new Dixit card deck from my sister. The last weekend of March, our friend Clara invited us and Anna to spend the weekend at her grandma's place in Totainville, a countryside village near Nancy. As Anna parted the night before, she was taking a little nap on the road there. Once there, we started with a yummy lunch, and then went exploring the region. We started with a visit of the Basilica of Notre Dame de Sion and its stunning viewpoint. After that, we visited the beautiful Haroué Castle. The castle isn't open all year round, and in order to visit it, you must take a guided visit. We were in luck that day, and the castle was open, for the school holidays. The actual castle was built in 1729, on the remain of an older castle. That's one of the reasons why it integrates four towers and a moat, that are typical of medieval castle. The Harway castle also has other amusing features, which, according to tradition, evoke the composition of a year, 365 windows, 52 chimneys, 12 towers, and 4 bridges. The guided tour was really interesting, and we really got to discover the history of the castle, as well as the people living in it. Plus, there were so many different room designs. The next morning, we went for a little hike in one of the thermal cities nearby, called Vitel. After that, we prepared homemade pizza in a fire oven. It was so funny and the pizza were delicious. Later that afternoon, we drove back home. We had such a great time in Totainville with our friends, and it changed our mind from the day that would have been Poppy's 3 months anniversary. And that was the end of February. As usual, we also did tons of walks along the canal, spent hours watching the swans, and saw the first blossom of the year.